welcome to another episode of Dishcraft. As I mentioned before, everything that I'm doing this week is going to be for, or not this week, this month is all for the Super Bowl. So let's get started. We're going to be making chicken wings, okay? We're going to start by this. I have about 24 wings in here, maybe a little more, maybe a little less. We're going to start by salting them and we're going to put some pepper. I'm going to just use white pepper again. Um, up to you what kind of pepper you want to use. And I want to bake my wings, not fry them. If you want to fry them, you can certainly do that, okay? Now, we're probably not going to get to see these wings finish, but that's okay. I want to tell you where I bought them, though. I went to Costco because they already pre-separate their wings, okay? We're going to put a little bit of baking soda on these guys. Or I'm sorry, not baking soda, baking powder. Baking powder has some cornstarch in it and it helps crisp up the skin. And then you're just gonna use your hands to get it all mixed around. You see how I'm doing that? Awesome, I'm gonna wash my hands. I'm gonna grab my sheet pan, I'll be right back. On my sheet pan, I have a little bit of foil. You could also use parchment paper. I have a baking rack that I greased. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set these guys out on here. And the reason that we greased this baking rack is because we want, or I'm not sorry, the reason we're using the baking rack is so that the wings get heat all, all the way around. I have my oven heated to uh, 425. We're just gonna place them all on this rack. And you might not be able to do them all in one batch and that's okay. You can just put the what's left here in the, or I'm sorry, in the refrigerator, let it cool, or let it stay cool for a while. We're gonna put these in the oven. And they're gonna take about 25 minutes to bake, okay? So these are gonna go back in the fridge. Wash my hands again with soap and water, always important. Now, this pan has been already heating. The first one sauce we're gonna make is a barbecue sauce. Most barbecue sauces start either with a tomato or a ketchup base. I'm gonna use a ketchup base. So this is a half cup of ketchup. And I had that heating up for you guys so we wouldn't have to wait for it. So that was already pretty warm, but that's okay. We're gonna put the ketchup in there. How do you guys say it? Ketchup, catsup. Okay. And then the next thing we're gonna add into this bowl, or this pot, I mean, is our beer. I am using from, I'm using a half cup of beer, and we're using from Big, uh, ah, City Star, sorry guys, City Star. This is a wheat beer, and it's been aged in tequila barrels. I love the flavor of that beer. And it's a little bit of on the sour side, which is okay. And we're gonna mix this all together. Now, I also am going to be putting in this, I have a spice mixture. In my spice mixture, we're going to use a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of paprika and onion powder, and one, or I'm, I'm sorry, half a teaspoon of paprika. Okay, so that's gonna go in. There's that. I'm also gonna use, I really like to use fresh garlic in my barbecue sauce. This is up to you. This is, might be a texture thing. You might not wanna throw that in there, okay? So there goes that next. And this is about three uh, giant cloves. I use three big cloves. Oh, this smells really, really good. All right, so we're gonna let that start to cook down. The next thing that needs to go in there in this barbecue sauce is, um, this is probably about a quarter cup of white distilled vinegar. You could use apple cider vinegar as well if you like. I personally am allergic to apples, so I can't have the apple cider vinegar. And then finally, a quarter cup of brown sugar just to give a little sweetness to our barbecue sauce. I have to tell you, I never buy barbecue sauce, ever. 
There we go. Now, this is a little bit on the runny side, so all we're going to do is let that get thick, okay? Well, there's something floating in my sauce there. So, I'm going to take and I'm going to slide this over here, and I'm going to turn this one on. Now we're going to go ahead and do what is going to be my play on a um, hot sauce or like a, or a buffalo sauce. Uh, I don't know if you all have made buffalo sauce before, but it's really fun and easy to make. So this is a reduced beer in there, okay? I reduced in this pot already from Crystal Springs. I really like their pepper beer. They have a Solano Ale. I didn't want to use a stout. A lot of times you find those peppers are in stouts. So this is a Solano Ale. We're gonna, it's, uh, and I reduced it by, I put a cup in, I reduced it, I mean, to less than half. And then the next thing we're gonna drop in there is gonna be a stick of butter. So if you've never, ever, 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 ever made buffalo sauce before, I'm gonna tell you a secret. It's mostly hot sauce, butter, and vinegar, that's it. And some people don't use vinegar. I like to use vinegar in mine because I think it adds some uh, kick to it. Um, so we're gonna let this butter melt down. I'm gonna check and make sure that this is getting nice and thick for us. And then while that butter is melting, and if you cut up your butter, it'll melt faster. I should have done that. So while this butter is melting, we're gonna give this just a second. Uh, I'm also going to add into this vinegar uh, two tablespoons, just enough to kind of kick it up a notch. And we're going to put in some honey. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna rinse off my spatula here so we can use that for the honey. So the honey goes in here. And I'm using honey to give it a little, t like to, to fight just a little bit of that bitterness that you're gonna get in the beer. Cause you know, you cook down beer, it is a little bitter still. Okay. And then I'm also gonna use, so remember it was honey and vinegar so far, nothing fancy, some reduced beer. I pre-reduced that beer we know. And then I'm gonna throw in just a, a this is two tablespoons of sriracha. Um, Partially this is for looks. I just wanted to have that look a little bit more, look a little more red. Part of it is to get a little more heat. Now, of course, you can add as much or as little sriracha as you like. You want more, add more. Now this sauce is doing the same thing. It's gonna melt down. We're gonna let it reduce. And this is gonna be your wing sauce, I mean your buffalo sauce, okay? So we made a buffalo sauce from beer. We made a barbecue sauce from beer. So, so far we have two sauces. I'm gonna rinse off my spatula. We're gonna get ready for the next one. Slide him back. Bring this one front. Now, this is gonna be our Asian sauce, our Asian inspired sauce. This one has uh, Avery's Elgoza in it, okay? We're gonna use that lime beer, okay? And all we're doing is letting these sauces reduce. That's all we're doing at this point. They're pretty much done. We're just letting them cook down. This would probably, I would think each sauce at this stage would be able to cope 12 to 24 wings, you know, so you're gonna have to decide how big your Super Bowl party is. And what's really awesome is that you, everybody gets to choose their own sauce flavor. You don't, or you could just do one and be like, I wanna do barbecue sauce. Uh, but after watching how simple this is, I also wanna point out that, oh, I am gonna put salt in this one. I didn't put any salt in the barbecue sauce. And the reason we didn't put any salt in the barbecue sauce is because um, the ketchup already has salt in it. We don't need to add to it. So the next one we're doing now, this again is a reduced beer. Let me show that to you. So there it is, that's the reduced beer. Uh, we used the Elgoza in that. We're going to add to that a stick of butter again. So we're gonna let this guy melt down. Just 
So there goes in a stick of butter. Whoa! You really just need these sauces to simmer. They don't need to be spitting like that. And then, uh, like we did before, our honey friend. So honey, uh, again, it's like two tablespoons of honey. Here's a secret. I, these have cooled a little bit, but if you want your honey to pour out faster, all you have to do is heat it up in the microwave. Get it a little warm in the microwave, okay? I'm gonna have to rinse this guy again. I don't know why this sauce is bubbling so much. We'll turn it down a little bit. All right. And then I'm going to be putting in here also, this is one tablespoon of red chili flakes, uh, the, the type that you buy in the Asian section. It's not like the dry chili flakes. It's already been mixed with a little bit of oil and water. So that's gonna go in here. And then, This is about two tablespoons of fresh ground ginger. I just used my fa fancy dancy microplaner for that. And then we go ahead and throw it in. And a little touch of salt again. Now, of course, you want more heat added to this? Add more heat. Now we're gonna do two, the zest of two limes. I'm just using my microplaner to zest these two limes and um, this will help add to that lime ghost flavor that we already have in there. And uh, the Alcosa does have salt in it, so you can really monitor how much salt you put in. You don't need to over salt it. Just a little bit of a pinch of salt in there should do it. Help kick up the flavor just a notch. zest and a half. That's probably good. I like how, how much lime zest that looks like that is. That looks good to me. Now, remember, there didn't, wasn't really that much liquid that went in there. You don't need a whole ton of liquid. Okay, there we go. I'm just going to give this a stir. I do like where that's getting to. It's starting to get a little bit thicker. Starting to get a nice little buffalo sauce coming out of that. check this and all I'm doing is cooking the sauce down let it simmer in. we're just letting it simmer for a little let's see how these wings are doing oh and the wings are coming along very very nicely so uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let these sauces finish cooking down if I were doing this at my Super Bowl party I would probably put a big bowl of wings out that have been baked, and then the three sauce choices, and then guests can just pour a little bit of sauce on top, and they each get their own choice. So remember, today we made a barbecue sauce for the wings, we made an Asian-inspired sauce, and we also made a chili, or I'm sorry, not chili sauce, a buffalo sauce, a beer buffalo sauce. All three recipes have beer in them, Happy cooking. Make sure you join me again next week when I make my uh, mac and cheese bites. I love beer and mac and cheese. I will be using an IPA for that. Um, yeah, and I look forward to seeing you all again next week. Thanks so much.